Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one on the 30-day video challenge. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about using a double minnow setup uh, on one rod. Typically, this is used for trolling. You see the, a lot of times spider rigging, this is, what, uh, this is what a lot of guys use. But today, we're actually gonna be jigging it. And so, in order to do that, you need, uh, well, you need two things. The first thing you need is some sort of Aberdeen hook. These are those zone lock hooks I use for slip bobbers a lot. These are size one. And the second thing you need is some sort of weight. Today I'm gonna go with a quarter ounce, Ooh, there you go, quarter ounce drop shot weight. Come on, focus camera, there we go. Yep, simple quarter ounce drop shot weight right there. Put the line right through that middle of that eyelet. And uh, super, pretty super simple to set up. All I'm gonna do is tie two of these on one, kind of one section of line and then put the weight below it. Uh, when you're spider rigging, some guys put the uh, egg sinker, something like, do I have one here? Well, egg sinker or a bullet weight, something like that, uh, in between the two hooks. But since we're gonna be vertically jigging with it, I'm gonna put the weight below both minnows. So to tie this on, you could tie uh, two Palomar knots I'm just gonna tie two loop knots to kind of give these hooks a little more free range of motion. Um, you can do either one, but so you're gonna slide one hook up the line and you're gonna slide number two hook up the line. Make sure the, the top of the hooks are pointed towards the rod tip. So if the rod tip's up here, the top of the hook is pointing that way because that way your hook will be upright when you tie your loop knot. So I'm gonna start right there. This will be my first loop knot. All it is is pinch the two lines together and then flip it over one time. And then put your hook through that new loop here that you created. Let's back that up. Try that again. There we go. Just like that. And there we go, there's loop knob number one. Hanging like that. And then loop knob number two, we're gonna put it about, I don't know, eight to 10 inches above that top hook or that bottom hook. Flip it over one time, put it through the loop. And there we go. So there's our two hooks tied on. The next thing we're gonna do is put the split shot. All, all you do is simply slide it through the hole and then pull up to cinch it down and that's it. There's our double mineral rig set up. So we're gonna get on some brush piles here. And uh, well, we're gonna get off the brush piles a little bit because we got live scope. But we're gonna put some fish in the boat. Let's get to it. Hooking them through the lip, just like this. And there we go. It's like a double minnow drop shot. Now to get on some brush piles. There we go, there's a ton of bait fish there. There's a brush pile. I don't wanna drop it dead on it because then I'll get snagged. <laughs> don't want that to happen. Oh, I'm right over the top. Shoot. Let's back up a little bit. Now I'm back about 10 feet. So I'm going to pitch this thing out a little bit. Oh, well, shoot. It's going to end up on the brush pile. There we go. Just to the side of it. Let's see if we can catch two at once. That's the goal with these double minnow rigs. Slowly bouncing it. Oh, there's a fish. Nope, that's a brush pile. See, that's that's what I was worried about. Uh, I might need to retie this. Yeah, I do. Oh, I broke them all off. 
awesome. All right, let's go to open water and retie. Is there a fish down there? Or we'll rig back up. There's a fish way out there. We're gonna try to snipe these. So a fish near brush piles. I can go back to the brush piles if I need to, but it seems like there's a few in open water. Oh, shoot, I think they stole it. There's a big one straight down there on the bottom. There he is, got him. Oh, I think I got, oh no. Dang it. Broke both of them off. God, they took both of them. There we go, we're gonna drop right on them. There he is. Yep. Ideally, this is would be on a spider rig setup, like I've said before. You'd have a bunch of them out there, and you could pick them off. You wouldn't have to single pull and live scope these, especially since they're all cookie cutter 10 inches. But still, a fun way to catch them if you're really uh, trying to mix it up with the live minnow rigs. Can use this method super i'd consider it a super simple setup to tie on just two loop knots and then you just i switch it up to a pencil style drop shot weight oh my goodness <laughs> yeah just just gave that guy a free ride oh there he is yep got him He's on the top one because it feels super heavy. I don't know, he's on the bottom one. The one problem with using the double minnow setup is you're constantly reloading minnows, but you're pretty much, once you get through the school, you're almost guaranteed bites. All right, let's see if we can scope out a few more here. Wish we would run into a two pounder, but I don't think it's gonna happen on this lake. Oh, there's a good fish. There's a good fish. Yep, there we go, dropping it right in his face. Here he comes. Is he running with it? Yes, he is. There we go. That's a solid eater. These are the eaters we're looking for, except he's got some weird thing in his... Oh. They're feeding on blood worms. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a blood worm in there. They're feeding on blood worms off this mucky bottom. See, you, buddy. The one thing, if you're not convinced, if you're not sold on the live scope yet, when you can solo hunt a single fish like that, you get good enough to where you can pitch them out and you know exactly where that live scope is going to be pointed. You can pitch out that, that minnow setup or that jig or whatever you're using, pick off that one fish. I know some people say, eh, it's not really fishing. <sighs> Welcome to the new age of fishing, live scope. Now I should probably explain why these fish are suspended out over this deeper bottom. And you just saw that with the, the blood worm in the one fish's mouth. They're feeding, the one, they're chasing a lot of bait fish, but the ones that are closer to the bottom, they're feeding in that mud, muck, silt, that softer bottom. That's what they're gonna start shifting to as we get deeper into the fall. And so a lot of these deeper water techniques, drop shots, double minnow rigs, this isn't typically something I'm going to use, but possibly just a single, a single drop shot with a minnow on it. I could definitely use that. All right, we're gonna make it easy on ourselves and hit this brush pile real quick. There's one. Yup. I didn't get him on the live scope, but... Well, there you go. 
I could keep doing this all day if I wanted to, but I don't. It's, it's a difficult rig if you're fishing around brush. Okay, I wouldn't recommend it. It's definitely more of an open water trolling rig or if you got a live scope set up if you're trying to single out a specific fish, give them two minnows to choose from. It's a great technique. Highly recommend it if you're doing something like that. Uh, I'll link the entire setup below. Video description. Appreciate you watching these 30-day uh, video challenge. I hope you're enjoying them. Hope you're using some of these techniques and I hope they're catching fish for you. So that's going to end it. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you.